Quran on planetary orbits. All stars and planets have orbits. For centuries, it was believed that Earth is fixed, and the Sun, Moon, and planets revolve around it. However, 1400 years ago, the Quran said that not only the Sun and Moon, but even Earth moves in a designated path. In the Quran, Allah created the heavens and the earth in truth. He overlaps the night over the day and overlaps the day over the night and enslaved the sun and the moon. All move to a pre-recorded destiny. Is he not the exalted, the forgiver? Here the Quran is referring to all moving not only the sun and moon but also earth in arabic grammar there is a difference between the singular one binary two and plural three or more the reference to binary is kulahuma yajriyan however the quran said kullu yajri referring to the plural three or more since the sun and moon are just two but the quran refers to three or more then according to the quran all the three move sun moon and earth As stars or planets move their gravity pull in the surrounding material this is how our solar system formed First the sun sucked in the hydrogen, then the proto-earth and other proto-planets swept the debris around the sun. In the Quran, Allah, I swear by the stars who move, who sweep. Kunnas in Arabic. Kans in Arabic means sweep. Kunnas means those who sweep. God swears by the stars that move and sweep. How could a man who lived 1400 years ago have known that stars move and sweep?